happy today. Epic giant Jenga battle going on here. I I, I thought that was gonna fall. Me too. But this whole thing's gonna fall in just a moment. Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Today we're going to be working on an outdoor shower for our family campsite here on the farm. I've shown a couple videos of us working on this campsite. This is the area that's all clear and open now. And I've got a little uh, canopy tent set up over there. we got a fire pit just beyond that. And our little tent site is going to be right here over my shoulder, but we haven't set up our tent yet. It's right there in a bag. So we'll do that a little bit later. So I'm trying to use the available daylight here today to see if I can get this shower done. I am uh, doubting I'll get it done today. But maybe tomorrow morning I'll be able to get a shower tomorrow morning. That'll be so nice. So let me show you the site. This spot here I already leveled with the tractor. I've got all my supplies out here. I've got some two by fours and two by sixes. I've got a pallet that's gonna be my floor. I'm also gonna put a deck board on top of that pallet. I've got my ladder up the tree because I've gotta build a platform to put that 55 gallon barrel right there. That barrel right now is empty. It's extremely light when it's empty. I've got another barrel over there in the truck, full of water, ready to go. And I'll be using the irrigation pump the same one that I use that I pump from the pond to move water from that barrel to the other barrel when it's up there on a platform eight feet up in the air. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, if you got any questions about the project, obviously leave those in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to keep up with what we're doing out here on our 43 acre farm in Central Virginia, of course, subscribe, hit that red button below this video, and you can keep up with everything that we do out here, which is all about Christmas tree farming, owning a property that's 40 some acres, doing the work that's involved out here to keep it looking nice and growing a business from the ground up. That's what our channel is all about. So. So uh, let's get building. All right, first up here is just, I'm gonna make some posts by gluing and screwing together two four by fours. These are treated and rated for ground contact. So these will be my vertical uprights to hold up my, uh, my barrel. All right, next up here, I'm just gonna cut the ends off. All right, so the, the platform for my barrel needs to be about 22 inches square. The tree that I'm tapping into also has a little bit of a lean, so I need to have room to move the barrel out from the tree just a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna cut two pieces here, 48 inches. These will get tied into the tree, and then I'll be uh, supporting these with the legs that I just made. All right, so now I'm just gonna get a couple fasteners in place. This is, I, I put the support beam in from the end of this because when the barrel's on top, I want the most of the weight to be held by these posts and not just by the fasteners. So uh, I have these inset. I've got this lined up with the 11 inch mark here, which would be close to the center of the, the weight of the barrel. So uh, I'm just gonna put in a couple screws and then I'll be able to stand this up and attach it to the tree. So to attach this post uh, to the tree, I'm using these big heavy duty uh, ledger lock fasteners and I'll uh, go ahead and get one in the tree up there and then I'll work on getting my post um, level and square after I get one in there. Before I put a second screw in there, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the one to the other side because I'm gonna to want to make sure that the two sides are also level with each other. So I might have to do some shuffling around. We might bump something, this might move, and we'll need to double check it for level. So I'm gonna just leave one in there for now and do the other one. Are you making a tree house? <laughs> That's like that.
All right, I was starting to question the size of the shelf that I had up there, so I just came down to double check the bottom of this. And the bottom of the barrel straight across is about 19, and I've got uh, just 17 and a half up there. So I'm gonna end up putting some two by sixes across that are 20 inches wide. So I just put the second lag screw in the tree on both sides and that really stiffened this up. But as I was doing that, I noticed this leg is twisted and it's screws that are in the top of this leg aren't all the way in. So I'm gonna try to take those screws out and uh, try to put them back in again and see if that straightens the leg. And if not, I'm gonna have to think about what I wanna do here because I don't really want that to continue to twist. Okay, the basic structure's done. You can see it holds the barrel up there. I haven't filled the barrel yet with water because I still got to do the plumbing and we'll do that in the morning. See you in the morning. All right, we're back day two. We're gonna start with putting the enclosure up and I'm actually a little short on lumber. So I'm just gonna kind of make do with what I got today. I've got a few extra untreated two by fours in the shed that I'll use for bracing if I need it. But uh, I'm trying to use all of the treated wood that I have first and see if that will make sufficient of a structure for now. But we're gonna start with the structure and then we'll move on to the plumbing. there's the basic structure turned out a little bit janky just because I was short on wood so rather than building the structure separate from the frame that holds the shower I actually had to tie into it because I didn't have enough two by fours to go all the way around but I think it'll be fine and then I just put this board up here for to hang my shower curtain from so now I can do the plumbing and I've got the barrel on the ground and first thing I'm gonna do is uh, Drill a hole in that barrel for the bulkhead fitting. So I showed these fittings on my last video where I built the sink but this pushes in from the outside there's a rubber gasket on the outside this threads in on from the inside just have this plastic gasket on the inside and it's a reverse thread so um, what'll be tricky in this case is that I'm actually gonna need two people to tighten this up because I won't be able to hold the fitting on the inside and on the outside at the same time in order to tighten this up
rough plumbing is done i'm excited now we just got to put the water in the only thing that gave me trouble was obviously the taper of the barrel sent the uh first pipe out at an angle and i didn't have anything to really match up with that angle well so i had to put in these extra set of elbows here in order to convert from that angle down to line up with what I got here. I put this in as a clean out so I can, when it comes winter time, I can drain all the water out of this and then just a ball valve to turn on the shower and a simple little $3 shower head right there. So now we're gonna get the water and test her out. So there it is, a completed shower. It really works. So we got the simple little shower curtain up here. That'll work out fine. Got the shower head here, show you how it works. Not a lot of pressure, but just enough to get wet and get cleaned up. So if you got any questions about this project, leave those in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit, a, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, appreciate that. And if you wanna keep up with what we're doing on our 43 acre farm in Central Virginia, just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on future videos. That's all for today, guys. Thanks, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.